Hello Laserscanner friends, here is Eric from Laserscanning Europe TV and this is not a random black box. This is the box from the new Ferrofocus Premium 3D laser scanner and we get this beta version system, we do a lot of tests. If you are interested how this scanner looks like and what the specs and what you can do with the scanner, then stay tuned. We do, I think, like a little bit unboxing video in the beginning. Um, yeah, also the, the boxes looks like the old one. And now here we have the new scanner from Ferro. That is the new device. Um, yeah, that is like the new scanner looks like. Uh, maybe some of you, they already known the Ferro Focus scanner series, will say, oh, this not looks so different, the new scanner to the old one. That's correct because the design guys say we don't should change too much, but there is few upgrades also in the housing. We have two components of plastics. We have here the, the, the hard plastic stuff for the housing, but here on the side, um, on the corners, we have here like a little bit more soft material. It's like a little bit like rubber feeling. This gives you a little bit more uh, safety for uh, more protection if somebody is not careful like he should be. And the other one is, it gives you also a better feeling if you have to handle the scanner, you have a better grip control with these upgrades. In fact, you can say the biggest point here is more internally uh, as externally, like 80% of the parts are inside completely different from the previous version. On the, on the external side, we have few differences. One is, it's deeply, but it looks like the old one, but we have definitely a newer battery. They have more power, and I will show you later why you need this. And we had here some upgrade with the accessory base. It's also in detail, but you are able now only to put the scan indicator on one side and your additional pano cam on the other side. There's no option to do it different and destroy the pins here. And uh, we have also, uh, this is different here with the, I show this later, uh, with the control of the, um, from the colors is the same like for the battery charger. They're doing an upgrade. It is green, is full, it is yellow, it's under charging, it's red, it's empty. It's like a traffic light. They make it a little bit easier for the customer to understand uh, what is the charging process. Yeah, I will start the scanner and then I can tell you a little bit more to the specs. I told you 80% different. What are the same parts? The same parts are the mirror module. This is the same like in the previous one. And also the horizontal gear system is also the same. Everything else is different. Like we have here these, we have a new laser model inside. We have a new camera inside. We have very interesting, a new PC inside and a new, and this is very new, an internal storage, like a hard drive, 128 gigabyte SSD. This gives you an option to scan very quickly. Uh, to store the data. And the new PC inside is the difference from the new to the old one is the new one is 22 times faster. That's what that Faro said. It's an internal PC, newest generation is a 22 model, quite new and this gives you also some safeties for the future. And this allows you to make a lot of things with a stronger PC, with an SSD inside internal. Then we have um, uh, the laser is also an upgrade. This is a different wavelength and it's also temperature controlled uh, laser module. Also between these area, what is your operation area, the scanner can control the laser beam regarding to the outside temperature or the inside temperature. This is also new to the previous version. And we have a better camera. We have now a 13 megapixel. The old one was 8 megapixels. Then we have an newer display, but it's only newest version of the PC, as a newer display. And uh, what you see with this stronger PC, I hope you can see this um, here, it is also faster in operation, like um, it's go much faster as in the older ones, because you have these uh, very good display and the stronger PC. And uh, this is new. And uh, to the end, what is also new is you have a new Wi-Fi module inside, uh, basically there's two of them and this gives you a much stronger access point and Wi-Fi control and why Faro does it, it's um, you have these uh, also the way like it was in the past, you can start your scanner here, you can start your scanner on your mobile phone but new is you have now this stream app 
where you can um, stream the data live during the scanning on your mobile phone and you can do here a pre-registration uh, on the phone in the field. You have a pre-registration point cloud and you can send them later by your data network to the Faro cloud um, option or you send this, store this and if you are back in the office and you are on your Wi-Fi network, you can also send the data automatically on the cloud option from Faro. This gives you a complete new way, the data processing on cloud. But um, for the customer there in uh, environments where is data safety is very important, you have also the old way to store the data, like here on the SSD card, like this is the old way. And you can complete shut down the SSD and store it only on this SD card. It took a little bit longer time, but then you have an um, you have the direct way to the SD card and you can leave it if you are maybe in a nuclear power station. Sometimes they're not allowed this data leave the office. Then you have this option too. Or also for guys, they're working for public safety. That's sometimes important to them. Um, basically, Faro gives you now these two options to operate this cloud workflow, but also the traditional way with... Um, I want to not say better data protection, but uh, if the customer like to have this, then you can also offer this option. What is also new, it's, but it's more internal, more power means you have also a new cooling system. You have to have it um, mandatory. Uh, yeah, this is uh, basically the specs what we have to the system, or maybe I have to look what does uh, I don't forget something, uh, my uh, uh, stuff here. But I think I told you the, the most important um, uh, stuff. Yeah, you can put the panel scan here on top, like the previous one. This is the Rico Cheater. And with this one, you can do additional to the internal camera, where you have the option to do normal camera, um, normal pictures, HDR pictures. And then you can do the panel picture. And you have, with the new laser model, you can scan very quickly. You can do 1.8 scan, what it means 12 millimeters point distance and 10 meter distance from the scanner with the external panel scan in, a, in around a minute something. That just means that you have a colorized point cloud in around a minute and that should be with this one drops now scanner also uh, the file scanner to the most uh, fastest scanner on the market. Uh, we does uh, some testing with the scanner for the speed and for this one uh, we go outside and you can see the test. Yeah. Drei, zwei, eins und Start. Yeah, I show you now what you can see here in the in the videos is uh, we done here a test uh, comparison from the old scanner with the new scanner S70 to the Faro Focus new S series also 70 meters. Uh, you will have 70, um, 150 and 350 meters, but we do 70 to 70, same resolution 1.8 and um, color internal camera. And uh, we make the check and what we see and we done it in different resolution. Once we done it in uh, 1.8, we have around 35% faster time from the new scanner to the old one. And we also do the test with a high resolution scan with 1.2. This means every three millimeters point distance and 10 meters from the scanner. And we had the same time, like uh, these four point, uh, um, these 45% around. We, we cannot be totally exactly because there's some difference. We don't can capture the time uh, where we actuate. This was a field test. And there's also some with, um, with the, um, 
how the scanner operates. There is a little bit difference between each scan, but it's not big. You can definitely say it is around these uh, 45%, but this is not, uh, uh, it's not like uh, fixed like a calibration office. Yeah, that's just what you see here. And what you also show you is the app, how it is working. You start a scanner, scanner stream the data to, this, uh, to the mobile phone. And if you move forward to the next position and start again, uh, the scanner, after a while, he figure out he have an overlapping area and he automatically stitch the uh, scans together in your app. Is this a pre-registration? It's not the final registration, it is the pre-registration. And you'll be working here, I think, only with 10% of the data. So you're not able to put all scans over and then put them together. You do it with a uh, subsampling data set. Um, then you put this together as some intelligent by the subsampling inside. Let me do a summary. My summary to the new Faro Focus Scanner from American producer Faro. Uh, but Faro is international. We have a lot of developments and part of the production are done here in Germany. Uh, I would say it is definitely an interesting development. Um, it's uh, the biggest upgrade is inside of the scanner. You see, you have a big increase in in speed. This uh, and you have also an upgrade in the performance. Uh, the increase in speed is definitely also interesting if you are an existing Faro users of older version systems. If you are especially a heavy user of the scanner, do a lot of scans, you will have an advantage and save money and time. I think that should be worth it to having an upgrade. And the other ones, what is new with the scanner, this offers you the new workflow to use these cloud processing uh, solution, what Faro delivered to you and is definitely also under development. I think you will be see in the beginning only the first uh, option what you can do and later will be maybe more option or let's give you a complete new workflow style for the future. Besides these new workflows from Faro, you have also the option to do it on the, I would say it old fashioned way uh, with the SD card on your desktop PC. You have this option. You have now both ways. I cannot uh, say uh, too much in the moment to this option with uh, what you can do in the cloud. Uh, we will check this out. Uh, there is definitely uh, things under development and I got some preview on the option what is possible, but not everything is uh, already fixed now. Uh, if you are interested, then leave a comment. If you like um, to have more information, then we will do an extra episode to this option from cloud processing and how you can communicate with your customer. Um, yeah, let us a comment and then we make an additional series to this. And finally, like every time, give me a thumbs up if you liked uh, the um, stuff to the new scanner. Subscribe to our channel if you want to have the newest, hottest information to the scanner market. Um, this motivates me uh, to do more videos and especially in English because I'm normally native German speaking guy. In this case, bye bye, Eric.